We have a police arresting a man who they say jumped the counter at a local business, robbed an employee at Knife Point, and then sexually assaulted her. ABC Action News reporter Clifton French spent the day today digging into his criminal past, and it turns out it's not the first time the suspect has been accused of a crime like this. Outside of Zen Therapy on Lois Avenue, few signs of a crime from a day earlier. Wadded up crime scene tape piled in a trash can. The business today closed. But inside of this spa around 3.30 in the afternoon, police say a terrible act of violence against a 40-year-old woman. He jumped over the counter that was in there, grabbed the woman by the hair, and had a box cutter to her side. Police say she was the only employee here at the time. Arrest documents say 44-year-old Bruce Wilson demanded money while holding a box cutter. After the victim gave him cash, he said it was not enough and told the woman to get undressed. Pulled her into another room. He threatened her, uh, wanted the money, and then he sexually battered her. The crime caught on surveillance video. His fingerprints pulled from inside. They were able to pull fingerprints off uh, the counter where he jumped over, and then we were able to identify him and take him into custody really quick. We spoke to the victim briefly outside of the business this morning, visibly shaken, telling us the shop would be closed for a while. It turns out Wilson has been accused of crimes like this before. It's the third sex battery charge he's been booked on and just one of several robbery charges. In fact, he spent nearly 15 years in prison for just that. Wilson lives about 20 minutes away from this business and we discovered only a few hours before the robbery, someone posted an ad for the spa on Backpage.com, a website known for advertising prostitution. In Tampa, Clifton French. ABC Action News.